Namaste, my kings and queens. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I do appreciate you sharing your time, space, and energy with me. Um, this is a bonus read for October 2020. If some of you tried to watch the video posted previously to this one, um, my sound was going in and out. And yes, so I had to fix that. And so for that, I want to give you guys a bonus energy read for the month of October. Alrighty, please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. You may hear my son in the background, um, but hopefully you guys are okay with that. He's harmless. <laughs> Alrighty. We're going to start with the um, Abraham Hicks. Get some advice from our creator. And then we'll hop in. Okay. Universe Source, provide me please with a message for the collective for October 2020. Thank you. So, we have, I can gradually change my vibrational frequency. Sorry about that, collective. So, I actually had to go ahead and put my son to sleep. But um, I'm back. So actually, um, where I left off was with the oracle that I actually pulled on the previous recording. So this is actually meant for someone to hear, okay? The card that was, um, was given says, I can gradually change my vibrational frequency, okay? There is no thought that you cannot eventually have, just as there is no place that you cannot eventually reach from wherever you are. But you cannot instantly jump to a thought that has a vibrational frequency very different from the thoughts you are usually thinking, okay? This card lets me know that a lot of you um, like I stated in the last video, are trying to manifest a desire, but your vibration is not on the same frequency as your thoughts about that desire, okay? So at this time for the month of October, um, a lot of you are going to need to align um, energetically with your desires before actually physically manifesting them okay in the 3d all right i love that that came out again so that's definitely significant Alrighty, let's pull a romance angel here i hope you all are doing well again i want to apologize for my sound um on my previous recordings but even though they're a little um, muffled I was still guided to post them all right um, and I don't question I just listen all right so let's see here energy for the collective for October 2020 Let's get a romance angel for the collective, please. Thank you. So we were given two. Alrighty, so we have new love and we have express your love, okay? A new person has steered your romantic feelings. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Ooh. So a lot of you for the month of October will be having a new love. Um, come your way or you will be manifesting a new love okay I am getting though with this um, 
gradually changing your vibrational frequency, a lot of you are going to align up with the feeling. No, a lot of you are going to align and or change your thought around the frequency you have regarding love or around. I'm sorry about that. I was getting a phone call. Um, Okay, so a lot of you had a negative um, thought or feeling or cog cognin cognitation connotation around the thought of love. Okay, so for some of you, you'll be cha changing your thoughts and your vibration around love okay it'll be shifting from a negative thought to a positive and more pure loving thought and which your heart chakra will open to receive new love and you'll be able to express yourself to this person okay for some of you you had a very hard time expressing yourself when it came to love all righty but once you go in and once you do the work surrounding um the thought of love hmm oh, oh what a joy it's gonna be amazing all right let's hop in it's something about actually doing the work here people all right I just got, it's kind of like when you're working out or just starting to work out. Um, it's the results that keep you going, okay? It's the results from working out that makes you want to keep working out. Like you're actually seeing the change, the progress. That's how it's going to be for a lot of you once you shift the way you think or feel about love okay let's get more on the new love please give me additional information okay all right we have the six of pinnacles in reverse okay so for some of you there was a connection you may have been in um, where someone was giving more than they were receiving. There was no give and take, which probably had you in this feeling about love. But this new love that's coming in for some reason. OK, I'm seeing this two ways. You guys may be attracting um, a person that may be um, a little more selfish in their ways and or after doing the work you're going to attract someone totally opposite of what you're used to okay um if you guys this is what i'm hearing if you guys do decide to stay in that um energy or those negative thoughts around love you guys are going to keep attracting these type of people who just want to come in and take they don't want to add value okay Give me more for the Six of Pentacles in reverse. I know a lot of people say, oh, 50-50, but I feel like it should be 100-100, okay? You should be 100% whole, and that person should be 100% whole, okay? Ten of Cups in reverse. Yeah, so this is definitely a past energy, I feel. You guys were definitely in a connection that was not fulfilling was very um one-sided a lot of narcissistic energy around this six of pentacles and ten of cups in reverse but in the midst of you um meditating and paying attention to your inner being and being self-aware you guys are going to bring in this new love, okay? 
Express your love. Give me more around this. Express your love here. Hmm. Ten of uh, swords in reverse here. And we have the two of pentacles and the five of swords. Okay, a lot of air energy here. Some of you may be dealing with the air sign or you're an air sign. Okay. I see here that some of you definitely were refusing to accept your karma, accept what life had to offer you, okay? The lessons you needed to learn, alrighty? And this resulted into you um, losing someone in the process, okay? You guys may have been dealing with the earth sign um, or you're an earth sign and they really needed you to express yourself, express your love, express how you felt about them, okay? But you just couldn't do it with this Ten of Swords in reverse. You still were not ready, okay? You were going through some past hurt, betrayal, um, deceit, um, heartbreak, disappointment, okay? You guys just couldn't shake it. But I feel like... Um, with this new love coming in, you're going to have another chance to really be able to express express love, express how you feel. Um, you're going to get another chance at love here. Additional messages for I can gradually change my vibrational frequency here. Always remember that collective, you control your thoughts. Once you gain complete control, sky's the limit here, okay? We have the four of cups. We have the high priestess at the bottom of the deck, okay? So for me, a lot of you were rejecting your intuition, your intuitive nature here. Okay, at one point, but you're definitely going to come out of that. Okay, we have the temperance. Okay, excuse me, being gentle with yourself, being patient. Okay, being understanding. Okay, I, I don't know why I got with this. A lot of you were being understanding with other people, but not with yourself. This could also mean that um, you guys had spirit teachers or spirit guides here in 3D or counselors come into your life and try to assist you with the Four of Cups. Again, you weren't ready, but and for the month of October, you're preparing yourself for that, okay? You're ready. Um, you're definitely ready for a give or take, give and take connection, okay? Um, I feel like with this, she's pouring into another cup, but that cup is also pouring into her cup. So it's definitely going to be reciprocity here in this new connection, whether it is love, romance, um, finance or career. All right. But per usual, we're going to clarify. This is a bonus read. Okay. For the October energy. All right. So let's really hop in. All righty. Please give us some overall energy and clarity. Whoa. <laughs> All righty. All right, the cards are talking, spirit is talking. All righty, so we have the Eight of Cups and the Three of Cups. Okay, the Three of Cups did come out reverse, but I was guided to put it upright, okay? I, I was just guided that to do that. So I feel like with the Eight of Cups and the Three of Cups, a lot of you will be walking away from... Um, this unrequited love, I don't have that card out, but I, 
I feel that energetically, okay? And you're moving on to a celebration, okay? To um, reconnect with friends you probably didn't talk to for a while or um, you're moving on to this new love, okay? And you guys are celebrating. You're celebrating with your girls or your guys, okay? Yes, we have the seven of... Um, Pentacles and the Four of Wands here. Definitely soulmate energy. Um, this is actually going to be a connection that I see here. The both of you were working very hard towards while you were separated, okay? This person was calling you in as well. This person could have also been in the energy of not knowing what to do, not knowing which way to go, okay? Yeah, we have the two of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So, yeah, I feel like both of you were in that energy juggling. OK. And it led up to you. To you both being in the same place at the same time at the right time. And this new love was conjured up and some of you were expressing your love that night or that day. Or in that moment, okay? You don't waste any time. All right? So that could be happening for some of you for the month of October, okay? My Libra babies, I don't know. Some of you guys may be going out and you guys may meet this person. All righty. I'm guided to pull a Mudra card. I haven't pulled these in a while. Um, so let's see. moves that do you have for the collective for the month of October 2020 wow we have inner wisdom and balance in the middle of the deck with trust at the bottom of the deck wow so I'm gonna go ahead and take the inner wisdom number 33 love okay this mudra is the Chen Mudra, okay? It assists in divine union, inner silence, spiritual consciousness. The benefits are assist in grounding energy and calming mind for meditation practices. Opens higher awareness, helps to open one to inner peace, knowing and surrender. The element is space. The instructions are to touch the tip of the index finger with the thumb making the OK sign. Soften the middle ring and pinky finger. Rest palms facing down in lap. While doing this mudra, you want to focus on I uncover and honor the unique wisdom within. I uncover and honor the unique wisdom within. Wow. There it is, collective. Alrighty, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching. Again, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in my next video. Ashe. Bye.